Are you tired of feeling like you're not in control of your own mind? Do you ever wonder why some people seem to effortlessly persuade others or get their way in any situation? Well, get ready to take back the reins with these 12 psychological tricks that actually work. From the power of suggestion to the science of body language, we're about to dive deep into the fascinating world of human psychology and show you how to use these tricks to your advantage. So buckle up and get ready to unlock the secrets of the human mind. Let's get started. Number 1. Father Knows Best If you want to put a little authority behind what you say, claim that you learned it from your father. It doesn't matter whether or not the person you are speaking to knows who your father is. The tactic may be more effective if they do not. Right or wrong, people tend to attribute wisdom and authority to father figures, so stating that the information or advice that you are providing was first given to you by your father, is a great way to give it a little more significance in the mind of others. Number 2. Clearing a path. The chances are you're often in crowded places, and that can be a big annoyance for a lot of people. Sometimes people aren't walking at the same pace, they're standing still, or there are just so many people you can't move. Here's a pretty obvious yet effective trick you can use to help clear yourself a path. Just look in the direction you want to go, that's it. Don't look at the people around you, the environment, your phone, or your friends. Just look at where you're headed, and people will make an effort to move out of your way. The reason for this is that normally people will look at your eyes, and if they can see what your vision is fixed on, they have a better understanding of your mission, and will naturally move out of the way. Number 3. Destroying Earworms Have you ever had a song stuck inside your head? I know you have. The melody just keeps replaying over and over inside your mind, but you can't quite seem to remember which song it is. And while you can't remember, you keep trying to remember. Which leads to you wasting a huge amount of time trying to remember the name of something incredibly pointless. Well, here's the common psychology trick you've been waiting your entire life to hear. Think of the end of the song. Not the beginning, or the middle, just the end. Your mind will continue to think of things that are unfinished or incomplete according to the Zeignark effect. Therefore, if you think of the end of the melody, the song will be complete and your mind will reset. This will release the song from your mind, so you can get back to focusing on something productive. Number 4. The Stalker Detector Do you ever get that feeling like somebody's eyes are on you and they're intently watching you? Maybe you can feel somebody's stare on the back of your head? If you want to find out whether or not they were watching you, try this simple psychology trick, yawn. Make sure they can see you when you yawn. After you yawn, turn and look at them. If they're now yawning, you know that they were watching you. This is because yawning is contagious. Try it, watch a video of someone yawning, and see if you do the same. This is a great trick for anybody who wants to find out if someone is showing an interest in them, like a crush or so on. Number 5. The Snack Man If you are in a group of people, or even just with one other person, and you feel like conflict is about to break out, eat something. People who are eating usually feel comfortable within their environment. Eating is a calming activity and will likely help to smooth out conflict. If someone is angry with you and you start to eat, this will help keep conflict at bay. This fact was originally discovered after two people were fighting and one guy stepped in between them whilst eating a slice of pizza. He was coined the snack man. Number 6. Ask people for favors. Benjamin Franklin once said that, he that has once done you a kindness will be more ready to do you another, than he whom you yourself have obliged. From this quote, we get the name of a psychological trick called the Ben Franklin effect which says that asking someone for a favor is a great way to make them like you more. It may sound a little counterintuitive, but the psychology behind this effect is that people will subconsciously rationalize their agreement to help you out by assuming that they must like you. Number 7. Overcome eye contact anxiety. For many people, eye contact is highly uncomfortable. However, maintaining an appropriate amount of eye contact is also essential if you want to come across as friendly and confident. If you experience eye contact anxiety, one simple trick is to look between the eyes of the person you are talking to rather than looking them directly in the eye. 
the person you are speaking with won't be able to tell the difference, and you are likely to find looking them between the eyes to be much more comfortable than direct eye contact. Number 8. Always agreeable. Do you want people to agree with what you're saying? All you have to do is start nodding whilst you're saying the thing you want the person to agree with. The nodding action makes the person start to believe what you're saying is actually true, and therefore they will most likely begin to nod as well, and agree with you. This can work in certain situations where you might need to make a good impression on someone, but don't get greedy, as this won't work for everyone. Number 9. Probe for more information. If you ask someone a question and they don't provide you with a full answer, try pausing the conversation for a few seconds and maintaining eye contact. In many cases, this will cause the person you are speaking with to feel pressured into saying more, which may lead them to elaborate on their previous response and answer your question more thoroughly. Just understand that, by design, many people may find the silence and eye contact uncomfortable, so use this trick carefully. Number 10. Fake it until you make it. Did you know that smiling has been proven to lift a person's mood regardless of whether or not the smile was genuine? This means that you can essentially trick your brain into being a little happier at any given moment by merely faking a smile. Faking a smile to boost your mood is like sending a signal to your brain that you are happy at the moment, and it is a signal that your mind will often respond to by engaging the neural networks required to improve your mood. Number 11. Mirror Body Language Mirroring another person's body language during your interaction with them is an easy way to make yourself come across as more trustworthy. This is something that humans tend to do to some degree when interacting with each other without even realizing it. You don't want to be overly obvious about it, but mirroring another person's body language by sitting in the same position as them, or using your hands during the conversation in a similar way can make you come across as more trustworthy. Number 12. Reducing the risk of conflict. If you're in a group gathering or meeting, and you think someone is likely to become aggressive towards you, sit next to them. It's very easy to show anger towards someone when they're sitting on the other side of the table, but if they're sitting next to that person, then it makes things harder and more awkward to do so. Firstly, you have to turn your body. Secondly, there is an intimidation factor. And thirdly, sitting next to each other makes things more personal, and you're unable to hide within the group circle. Thanks for tuning in and learning about these powerful psychological tricks. Now that you know how to use them to your advantage, go out there and start implementing them in your daily life. Whether you're looking to improve your social skills, persuade others, or simply better understand the workings of the human mind, these tricks are sure to come in handy. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more engaging content on a variety of psychology topics. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one.